Melissa and Sherry here. We're outside the Portland Gospel Mission and we're about to go inside to learn more about how they contribute to the people of Portland and the impact so we can share it with you. Being homeless out there with my two younger boys, not knowing where we're gonna rest our head, me having to, you know, lie to them and tell them that, you know, we're just out here camping for a little bit. I was in the Marine Corps. I went in in February of 74 and got out in March 31st of 76. Moved back in with my parents for about six months or so. Uh, met a young lady, got married, had a child. When she divorced me for another gentleman, uh, took my son, I kind of more or less pulled away from society. Growing up, I had a disability that nobody wanted to deal with. And medically speaking, I'm not supposed to be alive, much less be able to speak. I got shipped halfway across the continent to live with relatives that didn't want me to begin with. And they let me know about it as often as they could. I knew that, it was better, that I was better off alone. I'm glad it's here. Something to look forward to when you're out and about and you ain't got much. It's a big deal coming here. There's an expression that you lose faith in the humanity. Like this place is definitely restoring that faith in, in the humanity. It's refreshing to know that I have a soft bed to sleep in. It's refreshing to know that I'm going to be fed. Without the making, I wouldn't even have clothes. They give me clothes, warm clothes. I'm here with Chris at the Portland Rescue Mission, and he's going to share with us a story about um, someone that they've impacted um, that's come into that they've been able to support. Yeah. So there's actually been a, a lot of people that have come in uh, through there and uh, guys who are really struggling with addictions. And um, there's one guy that I know of uh, that uh, he was one of my, my shelter helpers. He was, he was somebody who would work with nights with me. And he didn't leave on the best of terms that he had a relapse and he disappeared for several months. But uh, actually, uh, like two years later, I ran in, into him on the max, and he'd been in housing for like a year. He'd been, I hadn't seen him. Uh, and he told me that, that having a place that was consistent and people who genuinely cared about him was a, a huge turning point in his life. Um, and, it, and he told me about several guys who had had that similar types of situations where they came in, they were struggling with addiction, and it was just having people who held them accountable held, uh, and in, in loving ways uh, were the things that turned them around. I think it was the, the consistent, the ability of us to say that it's like, we're here for you. And, and the ability to say that it's like, this, these, these things aren't serving you. And those, those, our ability to enter into those conversations of that's like, we're, we're holding you accountable, not be, because we're here to, to judge you with what you're struggling with. We're here to, to, to support you according to the, the goals that you have in your life anyway.